Welcome back. This video I'm continuing where I left off in the last video of the series. Last time I just finished putting the panel in for a test fit around the window. So then I figured out where I was going to put the electrical panel in that piece. And then the next step was to cut cardboard templates for the pieces of plywood that are going to close it off between that new wood panel and the hull of the boat. Once I got those uh, cardboard templates all figured out, I got the longer piece of plywood and fit it in and put a little bit of glue on it and screwed it into place with a few screws just to hold it in spot with that side panel still in place. The next step was to cut a cardboard template to close off the one end of this box above the shelf. Once I got the cardboard template to fit properly, um, I cut a piece of plywood for that, brought that out and test fit it in place to make sure it would go in. Next step was to take this whole plywood panel back out of the boat, bring it back in the garage and cut the holes for the new shore power electrical panel as well as an opening uh, that you can see up here that's going to be for my interior light switches and things like that. So I did all of those calculations and the cutting in the garage. I also attached the end panel uh, while I had it in there, got the whole piece ready to go and then fit it back in the boat. You'll notice that in these clips I cut the opening to fit the electrical panel in and then put another piece of plywood in the back to recess it a little bit. Um, that way the, the breakers don't protrude and then I will mount the breaker panel on that. Once I got the, the panel with the new box back on the back of it uh, mounted in the boat, 
Next step was mounting the electrical panel as a test fit. The next thing was to reinstall the piece of plywood I had cut earlier uh, that goes at the very front of the boat, at the end of the bed that kind of closes off the anchor locker area from the cabin of the boat. So I put that back in, just used a couple screws to hold it in temporarily. Then I did some measuring and cut a piece of plywood to fit along the right side, the starboard side of the boat, uh, to fill in the space between the wood panel I installed earlier and this new panel that's at the front. I'm just to climb hide the edge of the shelf. The idea is that the vinyl liner will come down from the ceiling along the hull and onto that shelf and then there will be uh, stained varnished wood as the front edge of the shelf. After that was measured to fit I also cut, actually I cut it at the same time as the other one because I measured for both and then I installed a piece on the other side the full length of that shelf as well had to sand the end at a bit of a bevel where it meets the uh, front panel so i screwed all of those in place um, just as a temporary test fit to make sure they're going to fit before i go and pull it all back out and stain it so uh, that's it for this video um, hope you guys liked it if you did like the video if you want to see more Please subscribe. Hopefully the weather gets warmer and stays warmer because it's been kind of going up and down and I saw, even saw a prediction for some snow again this week coming up. I hope that's wrong, but around here you never seem to know what's going to happen next. So stay safe guys and see you next time.